I might just sack my queen, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to sack my queen because I don't care at this point. Plays like a Botez Gambit. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Hey, you got to sack the queen. Got to do the Botez Gambit. Even against, even against 2800, it works. Uh, capacity is 54k. So yeah, we aren't quite filling a stadium like XQC, but we're, we're having fun. We're having fun, you guys. We're having fun. It's a good day. It's a good day. Uh, let's play Bishop G2. Keep it simple here. Oh, nice. Okay, let's play D3 here. Yeah, what is Art? What is Ash? I'm going to play Knight C3. This isn't what I normally do. We're playing FM Lee on Putnam 2541. Um, I'm going from there. How much is a boxy? You know, I went to the old Yang State. I love the old Yang State. Back then, my you know, I, I don't come from like a super rich family, and and actually we got like the really cheap uh left we got cheap seats in left field. We got we got like the cheap seats in left field, uh probably like a good 30 rows up. But but it was great going to Yankees games. I love that. As a kid, that was one of the best things ever. Yeah, I loved it. I think I I think I've said this, but one of my biggest like random regrets in life that I think I, I think I mentioned before is that. Uh, back in those days, like the only ways you could buy tickets, I know it sounds really antiquated, like in the late nights, was either you'd go to like the, 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 like the clubhouse store at your local mall, um, or you'd like, or, or you'd go on eBay and bid. Um, but I remember I went to the local mall with my mom and as I said, you know, I, I don't come from like some super rich family or anything. And, um, and we looked at tickets that, which were way up, way up behind like home plate, like way up, like pro probably like not at the very top of the rafters, but pretty high up. And, um. We, uh, we, 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 my mom was looking at tickets and they were like very cheap, probably like 20 bucks or something. And, um, and we were debating whether to get some tickets and we decided not to get some tickets. And unfortunately, if we got tickets, we would have seen Dave Wells' perfect game at Yankee Stadium. So that kind of sucks a little bit. I, that's like one of those random regrets that I have in life. So we were looking at tickets for the game. And they were like, nah, we, we don't have to go. And that, of course, David Wells throws a freaking perfect game. That really hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Thank you, JF Kuzin for the prime and Lukey for the prime and Dozeland and Zoe Bar for the 15. Yeah, it, 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 that hurts a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It hurts. Oh, does he have HG and G2? He might have. Whatever. Nobody cares. Um, We're having a good time. Let's just play Knight of Three and take, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it really... That's a modern Greek tragedy. It is a tragedy, I know. Yeah. Yeah, White Pawns look smaller. Okay, you guys, we're back to that. We're back in that zone. Okay, he could have played Queen E6, which was kind of interesting, actually. Uh, Do I play Le Bon Cloud here just for the memes? Um, or not. Knight h4 is also actually quite good. I wanted to play for the memes, but if I go king e2, he just goes like... I think it goes queen e... No, I should have gone king e2 for the memes. Knight h4 is a poor move. Yeah. White pawns are not perfectly centered. Thank you. Ah. Do I think Magnus plays as many recreational games as me? I doubt it somehow. I doubt it. I've got the double op combo. I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. Oh wait, was it? Oh, I gotta close. I gotta close the the events page. So otherwise, I hear those that noise and it's like, what? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh wow, this might be brilliant. Bishop d7, rook h4. I'm not buying it, my man. I'm not buying it. Now yeah, takes. I just go bishop c3. This should just be winning for me. That's a great attempt, though. I, I love his creativity here. Because Rook H4 takes Queen H4 and Queen F2 mate, but I have Bishop D7 in between, and then I should just be winning. Hans made a move? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so he takes, so I go check with the classic Fossil, and then I take with the Rook, and I, I should just be winning here. I mean, in particular, I have Queen G4, I have Rook H8, all kinds of good stuff happening. He's running out of time here. He doesn't really have all day. Yeah, he goes there. So now I go queen g4. Queens come off the board. I mean, this is just going to be GG's pretty soon. Good start. I love I love the idea from those. He's got his mind in the right place. Now, g7 is weak. Yeah, I go rook h4. We trade the juicers, and I go king e2. And eventually, the rook comes into play. And with all the boys at the party, we win. Yeah, it's still a good attempt. I go here, I take, and I go rook f1. I'm trying to fight. Um... G6 is not actually all that bad. Um, I'm going to go here and play just Rook H8. 
This has to be winning eventually. Just got to get rid of the rooks. Without D's rooks on the board, this should just be an easy win. It was f5. Now I can play rook g8 and gobble. More a question of whether I want to. Or rook h6. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. Because if he plays f4, I just take. I just take. Yeah, this should just be pretty clean. But 97, yeah. And once I take e5 now, it all just falls apart instantly. Okay, I guess I just go here to trade the knight for the bishop. Yeah, this is just over. Takes, I just take. It's just that simple. Did Hans lose again? Though This would be the first game they lose in the event, so hardly again. Knight c8 is a good move. But I, I think, unfortunately, I can just come back and gobble. And yeah, this just wins. There we go. If it, if it comes out that Hans is actually cheating, do you think there's any chance to redeem himself? No, I don't. Um, I don't think there's any chance. Uh, let's just go here. As long as I don't walk into some weird forkaroo, uh, let's just go check and sack. Okay, we got the win. Um, we moved to one out of one. Nice little smooth, smooth start as we begin the, the final home stretch of of uh, of the day. We got the win. Daniel gets the win. Let's see who else is playing. Benji is playing as Bilan Danilia. So let's see what happens. Thank you so much to Mishra Fish for the 12 months. Thank you so much to Mishra Fish. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, I mean, you don't have to do an interview after a loss, of course. Yeah, D6, D7, just crashing through. Very nice win for Benjamin. He's over 3,000. He's been playing good chess. He's playing great chess. Yeah. There's just H6, H7. I mean, you can also just go G4, H2. I mean, everything wins for white here. Everything wins. Yep. Good win. I approve. Good win. Benjamin's playing good chess of late. Playing great chess. Anyway. It is what it is, as we like to say. It is what it is. All right. Well, I mean, this should be a draw. Black's going to try to win this, but this is a draw, barring something insane here. Yeah, you just wait. <sighs> yeah, you can just you just wait. There, there's just no way to lose this. There should be no way to lose this. This game's still going to go on for a long time, of course, but there's there's really no way to lose. Thanks so much to Asios for the four months. Thank you to Ghost of Blunders Pass for the 13th. Thank you to Singular, Singularity Pot. Sing, thank you so much to Singularity Sneer for the three months. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, maybe I should invite... Yeah, the thing though is white just waits. Like, you, you can never get around. There's nothing you can do. I just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. No pre-moves here, though. No pre-moves. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah, I mean, th this is a draw, of course. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Bishop F4, nice. Um, that's a, that's a nice that's a nice trick. I love it. I love it from Pravian. But Pravian draws against the 2500. Brutal first round for him again. Tough start. Why do I have a thousand challenges? Oh, by the way, one other thing I want to say, you guys, um, that I have to say is about Chess.com. They've actually told me that like the, I have to deal with glitches that most people don't have to deal with. Um, and one of the biggest reasons is because I can actually break their I can break their site. Um and what I mean by that I break their I can break their sorry, I didn't mean to play myself, but what I mean by that is we currently have 983,000 people following us, which means that whenever I play a game, 983,000 people get a notification. So like I can actually break the site. So big shout out to the nearly 1 million people who are who are following me. Um who are following me 983,236 on chess.com. So like they've actually told me They've told me that basically uh, they'd be okay if I if I if I had like a if I had a second account to, to play tournaments on because I can literally break the site. Um, so if you haven't already followed me on Chess.com, make sure to hit that follow button. Let's get this up to one million if we can pretty soon. 
Um, so yeah, I just got that notification. Yeah. <laughs> we would never do that. Yeah. 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 Thanks for Nacho Man, Randy Salford, three Jeremy for the five. Appreciate it. Yeah. I just thought I had to point that out to you guys. Cause, oh wait, we've got our next game. So let me, uh, we're on the right scene. Okay. Okay, 983,000 people probably just got it. Yeah, uh, let's play D5. I don't actually know why I'm doing this. I'm only playing at 2600. It's a little bit weird, but whatever. We got the big black center, and now we just take charge of the game. Let's play this one. I don't know if this is the best one, but it's one of them. Maybe A5 here. Maybe H6 as well. I don't know if rookie it's right, but it looks right, so I'm going to play it. Unbelievable. Things are to Alec for the prime. Let's just go. I can play a5, but I don't want to. So I'm going to play h6 and maybe bishop f5 because he still can't expand because c3 is weak. I mean, maybe I'd go bishop f5, pressure on the pawn. Um, let's see. Would you be worth 40 mil to 983,000 Twitch subs? 980,000, 3,000 Twitch subs would be just bananas. Um, if I had 983,000, what would that actually work out to? Each sub is what, 250? So, no, that, that wouldn't be. That's not even close, actually, right? It's not only 2 million bucks. I guess you could make that every month, yeah. But, okay, let's, let's, be, let's be realistic here. Okay, I play A4, create the weak pawn structure. Um, I think I'm going to go Bishop G4, because he can't really tickle me with H3, and this pin is kind of annoying to deal with. I also have queen f5. Yeah, it's kind of scary for white. Yeah. Thank you so much to say Menk for the prime. Thank you so much to say Menk. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. When was the last time I played Danny in Title Tuesday? It's been a long time. I don't... You, you, yeah, it's five bucks a sub, although in September, there's a 30% discount. But um, but uh, where was I going? I was going to say something. So there's 30% discount, but, but basically it's five bucks, but the streamers don't get 100% of that, just to be clear. I assume everybody already knew that, but if they, if they didn't know that, then just pointing it out. Um, what do I want to do here? I'm thinking too long. I'm going to just go rook a5, guard my knight. Try to play some new age chess. New age chess. Jeffy gets the rest. Yeah, I think it's supposed to Dante Gaming for the prime. I think it's supposed to Dante Gaming. Yeah. He has problems here because this pin. This pin is really annoying. If he could play H3, he'd be better, but he can't really do that because he hangs the pawn. Things are 21 Kaz for the two months. Um, now that looks bad. Some somehow that looks wrong, but I can't quite pinpoint why. I really want to go F5, but it just doesn't look right. Um I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to play here, so I'm gonna go here. I, I actually really don't know what I'm playing for. It's a weird position. I mean, he is using a lot of time, to be fair. So he's trying to get h3 in. Um, I'm just going to go b6 here, consolidate. I'll play h3. I'll go like bishop 6 or something. I don't even know why I did b6, but I did. So it is what it is. Things are just Owen Croce. Thank you so much. Uh, Born of Guardian 2 out 2. Yeah. I mean, it's early. People are going to win games very quickly out of the opening. 92 is a good move, actually. Like, a very good move. Um, Gotta be careful here. Yeah, 92 is a very good move. Shoot. Um, so I'll play B5. I don't know if it's a good move, but at least it stops Knight C4. Maybe a C4 or something. I don't know. Whatever. All pretty good, though. All good, you guys. I think you switch to Maggles for the tier... Or, uh, sorry, it's Maggie's, sorry, for the tier one. It's got 30 seconds. Time is the time is a ticking. Ah, uh, he does play C4, which is bold. 
I don't want to waste too much time here, though, so I got to come with a move fast. Got to move, got to move, you got to move, you got to move. So let's go here and take. He's got knight c4 somewhere, though. It's kind of annoying. Got no time. Okay, how do I win this game is the question. I think I'm just... Eh. Why am I not moving quickly? I'm thinking too long. Let's go back. It was king h2. Um, that doesn't really change much, though. I'm still just going to keep building my position with bishop e6 and bishop b3. Let's go here. Kick the rook. Uh, do I have f5? Knight is trapped, right? No squares. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We got another win. Two out of two. We should be two out of two in a second. Yeah, that's a good try. Let's go here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly rotate the these ponies back all over the place um actually let's just go here trade the rooks off no need to be silly mm -hmm. go here I have queen a6 I also have bishop b3 okay I mean I know my man thinks he's towel but he's kind of missing a few thingies here um let's just go here He's over shot real Mito grass for the five months. Just go here. Knight f3, knight d3. I mean, everything's collapsing. Let's go here and trade. Check. Clean fossil. GG. Two out of two. Good stuff. Daniel also on two out of two. It's all good. All good so far. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? We've got some other games going on. Okay, Benjamin. Let's watch El Benjaminito. Two seconds. I mean, he's playing at 2600. He is winning here, by the way, with F5, F4. Lenier missed. Lenny, Lenier threw it? How? Wait. Uh, I don't I don't have it open. One second. Um, let me pull it. Where is it? Uh, did, he, did he trade into a Rook and Pawn end games? Oh, he did actually trade into it. Wow. He traded into the... I was going to say the one chance Hans had to save the game was with Lenier just traded in. And he did. Wow. I didn't think he would take. I thought he would put the Knight on E6. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked. He didn't, I guess, you know what he was worried? He's worried about King F6, King E5, but uh, a little bit too, a little bit too, too afraid. Um, he is still much better. This is still going to be a very unpleasant. Well, is this really all that unpleasant, Rookie 7? Nah, actually, this seems like a pretty easy draw. Yeah, I, I'm actually really perplexed by Knight takes. Oh, my game started? Oh, wait, no, Benjamin won his game. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, Hans has a chance to save this game. He has a chance. Um, I never would have taken the knight. I would have gone knight e6 here. And like, even though the king's getting to e5, he just has this jumbo pony. It's hard to believe this isn't winning somehow. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty confident this is going to be a draw now. Pretty confident because black didn't active king. I mean, why did Lenier do, Lenier do this? He wanted to just want to give him a chance for an interview. Yeah, but you know, I actually, you know, I was going to say something. Ui for the nine and waffle fry guy. You know, I played Lenier in the... Um, rapid and blitz and in particular in the in the blitz portion i felt like he was too he was too he was trying to control the game too much trying too hard to keep it always there and he'd rather take the small edge and what what looks like a winning variation he's doing it again today where it's like he was winning but he was he was just kind of afraid of some kind of counterplay with king f6 king e5 and so he just avoids it completely thank you so much to ab conga for the 20 rogan rat for the tier one yeah that, that was very poor choice by lenny i i don't even understand it yeah, I mean, you're, like, not even... Win I don't even know how you're supposed to pretend you have an advantage here. Yeah, very, very weird. But now now we're going to get a Hans interview, which I guess is good. Um, yeah, very... But I did notice that. Like, I noticed that when I played him in the Blitz in particular. Like, he was always trying to keep it within the control. He was never willing to let it get out of control ever. Um, and it's like against me when he got low on time, he just traded off pieces on that, on that first in the Blitz game. He traded off pieces just to make... To thinking he had the draw um but i think he's becoming a little bit too solid at times yeah that, that's what i think 
Okay, let's watch some games. Still two games going. We've got Jean Marco Var versus Maestro, 1986. A bait and switch? What's the bait and switch? Yeah, this will be a draw. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he tries too hard to keep it always under control. I feel like he tries too hard to just keep it always, always there. Oh, by the way, I just realized, of course it's losing, right? Because if you go king f6, there's rook f3, right? Wait, it, can't you just go rook f3 and knight f8? Don't you just have check and knight f8? Yeah, that's just, yeah. I mean, that's very poor for Lenny not to find, not to see that. He had 12 minutes and he took. Actually, I guess the times aren't accurate. Yeah, that's actually pretty poor to not use time. Although maybe he's wor maybe he's worried about his king son, but again, you got the jumbo pony. Even this just looks domination. I mean, just what a beautiful position, rook c8, etc. Yeah, it's just dominating. Anyway, let's go back to the other game. Okay, well, let's not watch this. Let's go back to the game. Very, very strange. Very strange. Yeah, I'm, I'm really kind of surprised by this uh, a little bit. It doesn't really make sense. Strange. Yeah, I mean, there, there's like, Hans will not lose this. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to lose this. Rook F3 is also like, why did he go Rook F3 when he had Rook... I mean, even Rook takes... Oh, but you know why he didn't do this? Because I think he was worried that Black has the king to E5, and he thought he might actually lose this endgame. I think that's why he did it. I think he was worried that he might actually lose this endgame. I think that's why. Yeah, I think he was worried the king gets to E5, and somehow he's going to lose E4 and H4, and he might lose the game. When does my game start? Uh, Not yet, actually. Let's see. Take a look at how many games are left. Pretty soon, though. Pretty soon. So let me change the scene again, and away we go. Yeah, big shout out to nearly 20,000 of you guys who are watching. Hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. These are just Hell Bunny for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. But you want to watch El Clasico? Yeah. How do you stay dialed in with such long timers? Uh, it's tough. It's very, very tough, actually. Um, but yeah, Hans is somehow making the game more popular. Yeah, he is. Stream is killing you today. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. No updates. I mean, like I said, it's like anything else. You want to hear something. I mean, you just, you want to hear, you, you want to hear Magnus say something. Thank you so much, Anarchist Chef for the Tier 1. That, that's my attitude. Like, that's my attitude. You want to hear Magnus say something, anything. Uh, thank you so much, Repo Whoa, for the Prime. Thank you so much, Repo Whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Benjamin also two out of two, so is Dubob, Dooby Dooby Doo. We're all in two out of two. Say something, stay with me, Magnus slaps face, yeah. I mean, if Magnus didn't withdraw, people still question it, but by Magnus withdrawing, I, I mean, again, I know people are trying to say there's some opening leak thing, but I, I don't buy that for... Oh, wait, oh, the clock, I was like, why why can't I make the move? Um, But yeah, I mean, by doing that, it really brought it to the forefront. I mean, I know people want to believe there's some, like, some weird theory about, like, uh, about, like, opening prep, but I, I it's, it's just not possible. Thank you so much to Izzy for the prime. Let's go E4, D4, Knight E2, of course. He takes. Interesting. Um, not blundering something. Am I? Not really. Hmm. How do I want to play this? Oh. Move my knight somewhere, too. It's been so long. What is this? Like a classical chest? Or something wrong with me? Um, I don't really want to trade. I'm thinking... What's wrong with me? Okay, let's... I guess let's play... Knight F3. I don't know if this is a good move. I'm just going to take and then... It's very dry. It's going to be very hard to win this game. But you know what? Let's try to channel our inner Magnus. 
All right, I'll try to channel my inner Magus and win this somehow. Oh, he does go E5. I did not expect that, actually. Very surprised by that move. Wait. So here, reroute the pieces. Goes A6. Somehow I feel like I'm better here, but I, it's very hard to prove. I mean, he's got one weakness that I have to take advantage of. We'll go here. Maybe C4, maybe Rook D1. If he doesn't, I mean, he takes, I just take. D8 is probably a decent move, too. I think there's a Crass for the 12 and Knight Color MC for the 7. And he finds this, which is very problematic. <sighs> it's going to be hard to win. I'll play Knight C4, maybe. I'm going to go for Knight B6 or something. I have Knight A4 at some point. I also have F4, maybe. Go B3. I'm going to play F4 here. He's going to go E4, I guess. Expected that. But now I feel like I should have some way to play this. I guess I'll go Rook C1. I'm going to go H4. I'm taking, I'm taking this a little bit too slow as well. G6, I expected that. I guess I'll go B4 to try and trade pawns here. Should be good for me. I'm moving very slowly, I just realized. I'm moving way too slowly here. Why am I moving so slowly? This is better for me. I just don't know how much better it is. That's the only question that remains. Did I hear what Peter just said? No, I'm, I mean, of course not. He said Lenier, wa Lenier wants easier positions. Yeah, th that's my general sense too, is like, he's very risk adverse. Like he's trying too hard to keep the game under control the entire way. And he's not, he's, he doesn't want complications, any complication at all. That's my general read. Yeah. It's weird that he was once a world blitz or rapid champ, given how methodical and contained he is. I mean, he's a very, very good player. But he, yeah, I, I feel like he's, as he's gotten a little bit older, he's kind of lost that edge a little bit. Yeah. Come on, man is thinking forever here. I don't think I'm missing any tactics. So I should, I mean, I guess this means I'm doing well. It was King D8. I expect that. Now I can play. I don't really. I guess I should put the pawn on A5 somewhere in here. Um. Go here, because now King E5 is very scary. There's also no Knight B5 checks. Now I'll go here, stop E3. Trying to control everything. It's gonna be very tough to control it all, though. Hmm. Trade, but I'm going to go Rook C5. Try to keep the game alive here if I can. If A5, I can just trade and take. It's borderline impossible to win this position, I feel like, but um, I don't really want to go beef. Somehow I've misplayed this, this as well. here I guess hopefully this isn't a, I mean this feels very scary this is a threefold this might be I guess I, I have to trade and go a5 then because it's, it's a threefold I'm pretty sure that's a threefold there so here reroute the knight good move too go here in king d4 still a draw Oh, am I actually losing here? Oh, 
Oh, why did I do that actually? Wait. I mean, he just has H5, which is a draw. Yeah, I think I think this is still a draw, if I'm not mistaken. Very scary, though. Yeah, I almost mouse looked with King D3. Okay, but now it's just a draw. I don't know if this was a draw or not. Or wait, am I winning? Wait, maybe I'm winning here. Wait, was H5 a mistake? Because I have B5. Wait a second. He might have made a blunder here. Wait. Let me see. Okay. Ah, he has B5. That's a... Oh, that's an amazing move by him. Great find. B5 is a great move. Could I have gone King D4? No, then King D6 is a draw. So I, I guess it's always a draw. It's just a draw. I can't gamble here. I'll lose if I gamble. It's not my kind of game, really. Although, I think I was losing, maybe, if he won B6. I don't know. Poor. Very poor. I think... Was I losing if he, if he didn't do it, though? Let me go back. Was I losing here? No, it's it's still... King E is still a draw. Okay, it's very close, yeah. That was just a bad game. I just didn't get my opening. I just played the opening very... It was a little bit too flat. Yeah, why, why, why did I... Why did I not just... I should have traded on F6 and just played. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I was going to flag there either. But that's what it is. Two and a half out of three, not so bad. What do you mean not your kind of game? No, I mean, the, I, we were in an end game too early. There were no chance for big swindles. I just played a bad opening. It happens. Yeah. Wait, Peter Heine Nielsen just tweeted something in St. Louis? What? Wait, what? What is this? St. Louis Arch? What? Not the tweet we expected, but the tweet we deserved. <laughs> That's a great reply. That's a great reply. Yeah. Not the tweet we expected, the tweet we deserved. By the way, again, you see even here in this comment, this is also the point from Arsenal, which has to be said, which is, um, yeah, it says, I, yeah, I'm sure that Magnus' tweet and withdrawal was unrelated to Hans, then they would have clarified it straight away. Or seeing accusations regarding the young boy, as more time passes, the reason, the, the clearer the reason of his withdrawal becomes. Like I said, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not some hidden thing. I mean, it's, it's very clear cut what they think. So anyway, let's get back to the chess. Uh, I'm really not in the drama mode at the moment, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, nothing being said makes it very clear. It just, as time goes by, I mean, it's been, what, one day plus and no comments? I mean, it's, yeah. There was one move where I was winning. Wait, what? No, I was never winning, was I? I am, oh, no, there's no way I was winning, was I? No, it's, I mean, it's always just a draw, yeah. Yeah, B5 is a critical move. I think B5 might be the only line, right? Oh, it's still a draw? This leads to some weird king of pawn and uh, some... I guess you take and then... Yeah, probably... Yeah, I probably would have won this. But again, he played b5, which is an excellent move. I didn't see it right off, so... Well played by my opponent. Okay, round four. I gotta, I gotta start winning my games, though. <laughs> Plus zero? Jeez. Life at the top is not fun. Oh, I was losing earlier, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is this round four? I don't even know what round this is, but I think this is round four. Yeah. All right. What do we have here? Okay. Knight of three. Um, I'm going to play D6. It's 2605. So I got to go for broke. Um, I need some e5 maybe maybe eh, i could have played c5 too but let's just play classic uh modern setups on my feet again I can trade i don't want to trade i'm gonna play a6 if this was 1500 years ago i would have won the game probably true Knight a 3 is a strange move um maybe a very good move actually but i'll play b6 and bishop b7 put pressure on the central pawns here yeah. 
but it's all good it's all good you guys we're chilling having a good time keeping it real I can take but I'm gonna go Bishop b7 this d5 I mean I can play c6 and I'm gonna do it because I I'm gonna smash the center here wait a second this can't be right I'm gonna go a5 it looks like the right move just play against the pawn structure here because br something breaks here okay I did not expect that really shocked by that move actually very confused just drop back I don't know if a it's right but if I go to a7 you can maybe take and play knight b5 so I, I don't want this weird tempo so it's all pretty good hmm he plays bishop before now I can play knight c5 right away I don't want to I'm gonna go bishop f8 to guard the pawn and then the knight's five later Magnus chose to not play entitled Tuesday either yeah I mean I I don't know like I said I I mean the longer that you don't hear anything I think it becomes very clear I, I think I think it's that I mean already you you know you guys know how I feel about the whole thing what I think it is but the fact that Magnus hasn't said anything if it wasn't I mean considering all the stuff that's been said in the last like 24 to 48 hours and he hasn't said anything I think it's very clear it's very clear what what I mean what's going on go here if he takes I mean I can take with the either pawn um with the B pawn it feels kind of wrong but you know I'm in a situation where I need to win this game so I think it's what I'm gonna do go here Maybe I even have Queen E8 to line up some stacks, but I don't really like it. So I'm gonna go. Maybe I've got knife f4. This rook d1. I'll drop the juicer back. I could have gone to b7. I don't really know which square is better, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I could have even gone to d7. Yeah, I should have gone to d7. He's trying to play knight e5, He's trying to get some tricks why the bishop was so much better on d7 but I mean knight f4 seems right because if he takes I have queen g5 or I also have bishop g actually queen g5 there's knight g4 so if he takes I actually have to go bishop g7 I very nearly just wonder there he goes rook d2 um go here now I get my knife to d4 and I should be fine should be good that should be good for me again big shout out to everybody who's watching hope you guys are doing very very well Hassan's or sorry you said hands I, I thought you said I thought it said Hassan's chess um yeah Hans's chess uh Hans's chess what yeah I don't know what you guys are saying anyway okay I assume I mean I need to win this game badly if I take with a C pawn can I win this I'm trying to figure out which pawn I should cash with my actually you know what I think oh this is very tricky I'm gonna take with this one I don't know if this is the right capture but tough spot it seems like the right capture XCC lost to mine about Hassan's uh Hassan's tweet what I'm just play h5 here go here you want to go c5 and open up some nasty fossils so I'm just gonna cut him off play h4 fix the weakness now I have like bishop h6 or bishop c6 eventually I should be better here but I have to prove it let's go here let's put the king here go here I really like my position by the way I really am pretty happy now I mean g4 doesn't threaten there's no threat though um wait no Bishop g5 hangs a pawn so I don't want to do that I don't really want to play Bishop d7 either but you know what? I think Bishop d7 has got to be the right move and then Queen c8 now the pawn is weak yeah this should be pretty good he's also getting way too low on time Knight a3 that just hangs a pawn I think yeah now I just take and now I'm just up two pawns now now this should be very clean uh 
Uh, wait. And then he is 96. I gotta be careful still. Um, let's just go. Oh, yeah. Bishop G5. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bishop G5 just hangs D6. Wait a second. Okay. Let's go here. Go here and take the rook. Go here, bishop f4, I have d3 also, which is just game over. Yeah, I just, the pawn just rolls and it's roll tied, roll game over. Okay, we get the win. Three and a half out of four. Tough game, but we get the win. Uh, who's leading? Vladimir Belus is leading. So we're on three and a half out of four. Pretty good. That was a tough game. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Daniel's still playing, so I'll leave his game on. We are going to take a break, you guys, uh, because at this point in time, we're on the six minute break. So I'm going to take a break and we'll be right back. Oh, Dan, wait, Daniel lost? What? Eric Gage just hung a knight and said, well, we know I'm not cheating. You front Royal Ro Ryan for the prime and Hitman UA for the prime. Wait, did Eric actually do that? Yeah, Daniel, Daniel lost. Oh, is this Dodici? Is this the Italian dude? Is this Lorenzo Dodici? Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Sorry. I thought that was just the uh, Italian dude. Who's really good, by the way. Okay, this game. Oh, is Hans finding a way to misplay this? Um, still going on. Let's see. Everlasting love. Ba -da 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 -da. No, it's Lorenzo Dodici. Uh, he's like an Italian player. He played uh, plays for Italy. He played for Italy. Oh, Benji. Benjamin beat Amon. Okay. Not Musetti, Dodici. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, got a bit of pineapple stuck in my teeth. Annoying. Okay, what did Eric do? Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, brutal. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, that's just nasty. Oh my gosh. Brutal. Brutal game. You know, saying knights are tricky, tricky, they are tricky, yeah. Hans might have winning chances now. Okay, let's pull up Hans' game. What? I'm gonna change the scene. Wait, how does Hans have win? No, Hans has no winning. Hans could still lose, actually. If he, if he checks and plays work, I think we get this line. There are chances that you can lose in this end game. This end game is kind of scary, actually. So after takes, takes, you have two weaknesses, and I can just block. And this is a little bit scary. I assume it's still a draw with perfect play, but this is scary. This is legitimately scary. So anyway, okay, let's see. Are we on the break yet? I think we are soon. Not, not quite yet. We got three and a half out of four, just chilling. Okay, keep chilling, keep chilling. Jose Martinez, a name I haven't seen in a while. He wins this game. Very nice. I think he's also on four out of four. Yeah. Where do I get all my shirts? I usually buy them when I go to Hawaii. Usually when I go to Hawaii. What do we have? Timo Fea? Okay, I mean, I think all the games are done, right? Let's 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 just see. Chess still surprise you after all these years? Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Chess is a great game, yeah. What shop is in Hawaii? Usually from uh oh, oh right, I'm on the wrong scene. Usually, um, usually from Hilo Hattie. That's usually where I get them. Yeah, this is not the specific one. This specific one is from Mexico when I was there for a chess.com meetup some years back. Um 
but yeah usually I do yeah I'm the only person who goes actually goes to Hawaii to buy Hawaiian shirts yeah exactly you guys but it's all good it's all good it's all good you guys All right. Um, I guess all the all the games got to be done by now. Magnus gets his shirts from Hog and Dawes. I doubt it. Thanks so much to Sly Armo for the Prime Appreciate. Thanks so much, you guys. Holy mackerel, we have what 618 subs today? Jeez, that's insane. Thank you so much for all the resubs, you guys. Y'all are amazing. Lenny A fumbled hard. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it. Um, what do we get? What is King D3? Why didn't he go work B2? Yeah, I have this very weird feeling that actually Lenny A, he's not, he's making mistakes because he's trying really hard to keep this completely under control to avoid any possible swindles. That, that's actually what I feel like, yeah. I do feel like that. That's what it seems to me. Do you think yourself or Fisher is the best American player ever? Um, I mean, I'd have to have an ego the size of Hans to think that I'm the best American player ever. No, of course not. Fisher's the greatest American player of all time. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, let's be serious. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What do we have? Uh, okay, so there's only one game left, so I guess we'll just wait for the next round to begin here. All right, what do we have? Wait, are there no games left, or is my chess.com just messed up? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Round five. Let's keep going with G3. Keep it simple. Fix your hair. Uh, my hair is good. Yeah. I haven't played Max since he joined chess.com. No. Let's play for the cheese attack. Just going to do this. These are just Elo jewels for the prime. Let's take with the queen. Go back. On the bit of draw, I'm not shocked. I mean, like I said, Lenny is trying too hard to keep everything um fully under control. Um hmm. I'm going to gamble a pawn. I'm not too concerned. Let's go here, guard all the pawns. I guess I'll take with the E pawn. I can take with a C pawn too, but that opens up a C file. I don't really want to do that. You'd like to play the chessboard at a smaller window like Wesley? No, I don't like that at all. No. If Dominguez is affected by the Han drama, no doubt he is. I think everybody is. Take, I can also play Knight H3 or Knight E2. I mean, it's all very extravagant. 
I'm gonna go for the extravagant approach with knight h3, knight f4. And take. Sage pawn. Go here in d4, maybe. I come back and how's Lenny losing? He's drawing, no? No, it's just a draw. Unless there's some new move, but I don't think there is. Okay, let's build the center here. Man, what you are was asking the commentators why Magus withdrew. <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> I like, I like where Shaq's mind is at. Um, go here and trade. Not getting my positions today. Go here. Take. Trying to play against this knight in the pawns. It's very tough. I think there's an axle road for the three axle rod for the three months. I think there's an axle rod. Unreal. Let's go here. It does play a5, which I think I'm happy to see. Now I think after rook b1, I'm getting chances. This is going to get very spicy. go here I go rook b5 and I mean I, I'm much better here Hans drew I assume things are just tactical wheat for the five months okay so I go here target the pawn I think I should create the outside I think I should create this pass pawn here g5 I don't like it all um let's go here should just be winning for me What's the latest on the drama? Nothing specific. I mean, like, like I said before, to me, it's, it's very clear. Like, there's no doubt in my mind what's going on now. I mean, the fact that Magnus has not said anything, I don't know, it seems pretty obvious to me. I'm going to just check and take. Collect and come back. Go here now. I have G five, and the rook is holding all the glue. I mean, you guys keep saying Magus thinks this prep prep was leaked. I just I don't believe that. He would have said that by now if it was true. And the the the, the like the heavy scans and everything else. I mean, it's very clear. Yeah, I mean, I I know people want to assume it's not what I'm saying, but like, why would they have heavy security over a prep leak? I mean, you guys are just not. It's this is like really really basic. Now I have all the pawns connected and now he's gonna have trouble stopping but I mean it's basically the wide people so he has trouble stopping them all he goes there I guess I'm just gonna run the king up uh okay now I just win because I have g7 I also have g I guess just rook g5 no need to get cheeky here very simple Thank you so much, Kono Uni for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Uh, and you guys are saying he has the right to withdraw. Um, I mean, when you guys are saying he has the right to withdraw, like that's not the way of putting it. Um, he does not have the right to withdraw. This is about Harry not for seven months. So in the contract, you're not allowed to just withdraw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean he's totally it's totally not. You're not allowed to just withdraw. Yeah, I mean you can withdraw and get get fined. I mean they're not gonna find him, but that's what that's what they could if they wanted to. I think it's much agent aesthetic for the prime and L3 on LTW for the prime. But yeah, one second. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. It's a draw. I guess BA3 and King B2, and this is a draw. King B2. But yeah, let's see. Um, do we not have any more moves in this game? Was it a drop? Free Discord, please? Okay, sure. Okay, let's go next game. Let's go Bishop G2 here. Oh, he played a move. Sorry, what am I doing? Okay, let's go here on Bishop D2, of course. I'm not even paying attention to titles. He said, what are my standings? I'm not even really looking closely. What do we have? Hello from Barcelona. How's it going in Barcelona? Why are the ratings way higher on these pages? What are the scores? Four and a half. Everybody else is on five. Let's play C4. You can take and I take. I mean, it's all very normal. Yeah. I guess I'll play knight f3. I don't even know if it's the right square, but it, it feels reasonable. Please update the score. Yes, Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah, Barcelona. Go here, target the pawn again. Uh, Queen h4 is maybe better, though. Maybe. Play knight c3. Hmm. Oh, did I just blunder Bishop H3? Shoot. <sighs> that was stupid. Or was it? Um, yeah, it was stupid. Okay. I'm gonna do. Although, wait, maybe I can... That was so stupid of me. Why did I do this? Because I'm, I'm tempted to just sack and exchange. That's how unhappy I am with my position. I can't, though. Okay. Um. So stupid of me. And now I'm thinking forever for no good reason. Why did I do that too? That didn't make much sense either. Okay, I gotta just move. Okay, let's just play D4. I just gotta move. I'm just 
I'm like zoning out suddenly. Yeah, I'm just completely zoning out. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh. What am I doing? This is ridiculous. I'm literally trying to throw this game. Oh, I had 95. No, wait, I didn't have 95. Okay. I mean, I can still play D5 and 94. I think I'm kind of okay until I blunder that. play rook d why did i not play rook d1 or rook d1 that also is just completely ridiculous by me yeah i'm just playing bad chess suddenly i don't know what what just happened i just lost i just lost my train of thought completely completely in this game should have just gone rook d1 what, why didn't i play rook d1 so ridiculous yeah i'm sure i'm just losing here somehow but wait I do have queen c4 and something maybe. Also just go back and take maybe. I, mean, I feel like I'm losing here. I just don't know how I'm losing, but I feel like I'm losing. Yeah, let's just try to trade some queens. I could have checked first too, I guess, but whatever. Who cares? Okay. Oh, but now I can't. I hang knight h2 as well, of course. Oh, he plays e5. At least he played e5 and not knight e5. Knight e5 I just resigned. I mean, I'm obviously much worse, but I have I have a prayer, maybe. Oh. Here on bishop c3, I guess. I have a prayer, maybe. But I gotta speed up here. Gotta speed up. But I have rook b1. Um... Uh, I just got to move. I mean, it's got to move the knight, right? So I take... I have chances to maybe save this. Doesn't threaten anything, though, does it? No actual threat, so... Ah, but I can't go... I just can't think. What's wrong with me? Come on, you gotta move. Yeah, I just threw this game. Oh my god, I just threw me. I'm just yeah. I was fine there too. I should have drawn it. Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm like I'm doing what I always do in Title Twos. I keep throwing in Title Tuesday, the late one. Yeah, I'm doing what I always do in the late one. I just get careless and I'm throwing everywhere. There's there's somewhere towards the end I just start getting slow and yeah, I mean he played well, like to be, to be fair, but um Yeah, 95. Why did I just I, I mean I knew 95 was the move and then I didn't play it. I mean Yeah long day i mean it's just frustrating because it's always the same store in the late title tuesday like i just I, it's not even till i just get tired and i just use too long at some point 
At some point, I just use too long, too much time, and bad things happen. Mm. Tough. Thank you, Fenty. Thank you, DJB. Thank you, Thug Money. Thank you, Purse Springer. Thank you, Steven. Appreciate it. So, yeah. Still can get to nine and a half. What do I take on after? I mean, I just played a ridiculous opening. I mean, like, this opening was so stupid. Like, I mean, I, I fought forever here. I should just take or do something. I mean, like, I'm just better here if I don't castle. But I, I castle, and then... I mean, it's still fine. But, like, even here, I just go knight e4 and bishop c3 and just... It's not much, but it's not... I mean, it's not terrible. But, yeah. Happens. Mainly just upset with my time usage, though. That's ah, life. Okay. Let's keep moving on. Uh, just watch Benjamin play. Yeah. Frustrating. Yeah, frustrating. And now I'm losing rating points as well, which does not help matters either. Hmm. It's how it goes. It's how it goes. Just how it goes. Bittersweet Tuesday. Yeah. No, it's been a great day. I've had a lot of fun today, but it it, it is like, yeah, it's been so much drama. So much drama lately. Last two days of drama has been off the charts. Off the charts. Okay, let's focus. Uh, I guess it's time to open the engine. Very funny, you guys. Okay. Okay, let's go. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, time to with <laughs> time to withdraw. Yeah, they domestic for the tier one. Yeah, time to withdraw LMAO. I agree. Okay, let's see what's happening in the game though. Wait, did something happen? Why do we still have no we still have no wait, was there something wrong with the relay or what happened? Well, I don't understand what happened. A relay broke. Okay, so there's no good relay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's keep going. Uh, let's play Jesus. I'm not getting good pairings either, I have to say. Let's play the Beef Eater. This is what Rustmoth started playing against me. I think it's actually kind of playable, which is weird. Oh, great. This guy knows the theory, even. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, this is just nuts. Let's go here on Queen A6, I guess. Really? Okay, well now I should be happy. There's some kind of weird bunky theory that I'm unaware of. I'm playing this really, really fast like this is theory or something. I mean, Rustmob did this against me, so I thought I would try it out. Yeah. He prepared something against it? I apparently. FMs these days. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, that was, was that a move? Okay, whatever. Let me close this. Sorry. Okay, let's get back to the game. Um, go here in D6, I guess. I don't really want to blunder. I can also just take the pawn, too, I guess. I also have Knight H5 as well. A lot of options. Yeah. Oh, is this a dude who play this is a dude who plays a 10 second bullet chest? That I actually was aware of that. Let's go here and take. I'm actually doing fine here, I think. Let's go here. I think I'm actually okay somehow. Because now I have Rookie H8 and I think I'm completely fine. I've stabilized my position here. Yeah, this is good. I've stabilized it completely. Okay, shape looks correct. Yeah, this looks correct. I don't like Knight H4 at all, by the way, because now I just created a self pin for no reason. He created this horrible self pin. Why did he do that? Uh, that was just completely illogical. 
a four? Okay. Go here. I have a good move. Okay, I guess I'll go here. I could have played B5 too, which I probably should have played. Hopefully this isn't some kind of blunder. his knight is very awkward here like takes I just take his knight is really awkward on h4 he's got like no squares yeah I think I'm gonna win this game actually I'm feeling pretty good about this yeah we'll get back to the other we'll get back to the game if we have it somewhere um I guess we're you know what you guys will do reddit we're gonna do reddit react tomorrow not today because I, I I mean it's been a long stream already thank you so much Sunless sushi for the five and Avi for the six thank you so much does give me a four no yeah it's starting to look a little bit sketch maybe like very sketch in fact is g where i can play n peasant yeah why not okay, let's go here this looks pretty pretty bad for white g5 is a big threat wet it wednesday wet it wednesday yeah and now I go here and knight of five and ricochet. That's just very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The B feeder, two OP. Two, two OP. We get the win. We move to five and a half out of seven. Let's see how we can do the next couple of games. Let's try to bring it home. Dan already won loss as well. So it's been, been a tough ride. Benjamin, by the way, is playing very well. He is playing well. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Um... Yeah, I don't know what we actually have. Yeah, Benjamin's been doing very well. I mean, he lost me in the early title twos, but overall, he's had a great run. Yeah, overall, he's been crushing it. I think it's almost that Nate Grabrate for the 10. Did he play my H4? Oh no, he didn't. Did he play H? He played H4 here. Okay, so it's close to the line that I played against. Uh, played against uh, Oparin in the Grand Prix in Berlin. Yeah, he spotted me a rook. It was a very unfortunate blunder by Benji. Okay, let's go back to the other game. Let me pull it up. Um, let's see what happened in Hans' game. I guess the relay is back. Yeah, I mean, both players are very long time, no? I changed the scene. What do we have? No more, no more, no move. So what, there's rook b2? Or rook e2? I mean, I assume these are the two moves you have to play. One of these two moves. But this is going to be a long game. A long, long game. A long, long game. Um... Yeah, it's gonna go on forever. But I mean, you can't just. I mean, is this actually a draw? Is the question. Like, this feels good for black, but I. I mean, I guess ah, uh, you got rook a two first. So, because I th I thought for a second that like if you if you get this position, this is probably winning with a pawn in a seven. Although even this is apparently a draw. But yeah, we're just gonna get a draw here. So let's go back. Benjamin is just crushing it, by the way. Just absolutely crushing it. I don't know if I like g4 queen oh queen f4 hung a rook I guess so this is fine yeah just trade rook g8 and queen just trade rook g8 h8 easy peasy yeah I have a couple thousand on like, curious tonight who's he playing he is playing against someone is he playing against uh, he's playing against the Italiano right he's playing a baritone or something yeah Playing the baritone, right? Um, the Lenny's game, I think, is gonna be a draw, so let's go back. Uh, who's he playing? Oh, he's, oh, he's playing Kachanov. Oh, I thought he uh, okay, okay, so he's playing Kachanov. I assume he's gonna win. I mean, if he if he plays the way he did, he keeps his mind together, he will win. 
think there's a money Kobe for the tier one. I think there's a money Kobe. Yeah. Oh, Berrettini's out. Okay. Oh, he played. He played the rude man. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Okay. So we should have another game starting pretty soon. We're on five and a half out of seven. He had a rude awakening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baratoni. It's it's yeah. It's a it's a Baratini. I guess whatever. Baratoni. Rigatoni, Tromboni, whatever. It's all the same. Yeah, Lenny should have won this game today. I mean, he, he misplayed it, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, Waiting for the next round to start. Round number eight. But I say that box rating doesn't match his brain. Isn't he stronger? Um, I think Benjamin has a lot of talent, but it's, it's hard. He doesn't have a lot of tournament opportunities to play in things. I mean... I think Benjamin could be close to 2,800. Um, I think for sure he could be. But he, does, he doesn't have the opportunities. That's the problem. I mean, it's it's like Hans actually alluded to, and he's right. A lot a lot of players, if you're not like if you're not around 2730, 2740, and you don't get invites to Grand Grand Chess Tour, it's um it's tough. Very tough. I think it's so much to tuck for the prime. I think it's so much to tuck 7490. Yeah. All right, what do we have? Uh, okay, this will be a draw. Yeah. Oh, did I say 2,800? I meant 2,700. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I said if you're like, if you're below 2,700. No, there's no info. Until Magnus has something, there is going to be no new info. So, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a little sick of everything as well. I think everybody is, frankly. I think everybody's waiting for Magnus to say something. And unfortunately, I don't think he is going to say anything, by the way. Why did he go E5? Wasn't Rook H7 winning? Yeah, very weird. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's keep moving on. Playing a Didici. Uh, the, oh, wait, sorry. This is not this is not the Italian guy. Someone else, yeah. Yeah. Of course, G6 is a bad move, but whatever. I'm just going to play E6 and E7. So this is actually what L. Parham used to play. He plays against somebody wanting to get... I mean, this is just a terrible setup, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, I'll play Knight F6. Knight E7 is also fine, I think, but it is what it is. You just play chess, and hopefully it works. I scored 10 out of 11 in the early title, too, so I'm going to castle. I'm going to go C5 here. If he takes, I play Queen A5. I'm going to trust that I have enough counterplay. I don't know if I actually do. Take. I'll take. Why not? Looks a little bit sketchy for my opponent. I'm not sure I believe this. Um, um, how do I do this? Again, I'm just thinking too long. I just got to move. I mean, why am I thinking so long? <sighs> Ridiculous. And the problem is it's just very drawish too. Although I have knight c6 and eh, maybe okay. Yeah, I guess there's some article quoting me. But whatever. Low blood sugar? No, it's not. I think it's just I just get tired. I mean, when, when you stream for like nine hours, it's not easy. I mean, sometimes I wonder how I did it where I streamed like nine hours every day during the heart of the pandemic. Like I, I was actually streaming like nine hours every day. Lucky I like what I like. He plays queen two, so that's not a mistake, but it's not the best move, of course. I did not expect that. Um, let's take. I might just sack my queen, honestly. I don't even see I'm just, yeah, I'm just getting too tired now. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack my queen because I don't care at this point. This plays like a Botez Gambit. It's got what, Rook D1? Yeah, I'm just gonna sack the queen. Let's 
we have H5 or something. Am I going to get mated here somehow? Takes. Take with the bishop. Target the pawn. Oh, of course he finds bishop d5. Gross. <sighs> frustrating. Just absolutely frustrating. Am I the only one who watches two streams at the same time? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit lucky if I can somehow create counterplay here. Although that, however, fills... No, I need to win this game, but... Yeah, I need to win this game. There is no way to win, so... Yeah, I need to win this game to have any chance, but... Do I gamble and maybe lose this game? Yeah, who cares? Let's gamble, and if I lose, I lose. Yeah, let's gamble. Okay, plays g3, so I go here, and then I have rook c2. Hit the pawns. Oh, I should have gone to g... Oh, wait, I couldn't go to g5. I'm smoking something. I mean, I'm probably going to lose this game, but I, at this point, I don't care. I got I got to go for broke. If I, if I don't go for broke, then what's the point even? Oh, he does have queen f3, which I didn't see. So I take, so I take. I go there. Assume I just go here to hit the pawns. Yeah, why did I even do this? It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous by me. <sighs> I mean, this pawn is hanging, like, I have chances to maybe swindle him. H pawn. I just. What do I need? I need one, two, three moves. He needs one, two, three. I have chances here actually to swindle him. I mean, there are legit chances to swindle here. Um, wait, so I take, I also check and take, go for this one. Wow, he's actually choking this away. <laughs> I'm going to win this game now, I think. This is ridiculous. Or maybe, uh, oh, okay, one, wait, do I have h3, h2? No, I think I just, I think I go here in rook a8. Go here. Yeah, I'm gonna win this game if I'm smart. Yeah, let's go here in rook b2. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Hey, you gotta sack the queen. Gotta do the Botez Gambit. Even against even against 2800, it works. Okay, I, I mean, don't ask me how I won that game. That was absurd. I think it was it was winning here. Oh, is this actually never cleanly winning? Ah, queen b5 wins because he cuts this off. Ah, he has to go queen b5. But when he goes here, ah, he still has queen b5 and it's winning. And after bishop e5, it's all gone. Yeah, after bishop e5, it's, I mean, it's not gone, gone, but it's... Oh, apparently rook f2 is a draw, huh? Wait, what? Oh, rook h2 and... Rook h2 and h3. That's very dank. Because you go, like, here, and then you just check forever. And the king runs, you check. I mean, that's really dank.
Wait, A6 is what? <laughs> queen f1 is. Oh my gosh, queen f1 is winning. Really? Queen f a queen f1 boxes everything, and then he's able to go here, right? That's really dank. That's really, really, really dank. It's still a draw, I guess, here somehow. But okay, I mean, whatever. Yeah, very dank. Yeah, very, very dank. Okay, so we're on six and a half out of eight. So um, I will take my final break, and we'll be back in a second, you guys. Okay. I was slow at five cents. Yeah, thank you, Becky P, for the tier one. Thank you so much, Becky P. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. But yeah. Okay, we've got six and a half out of eight. Um, oh, wait. Wait, I'm... How am I only half point out of first place? Wait, I just suddenly noticed. Wait, what the heck? I'm only a half point out. What the heck? Here's my emojis for the uh, 40 months. Wow. Were there like a bunch of draws or something? I just, I mean, that's crazy. I've dropped one and a half points and I'm only half out of first place. That's just nuts. No, but I drew a game. I lost and drew and suddenly I'm looking. I'm like, I assume somebody is like seven and a half or eight, but everybody's got seven, which is just bizarre. Really weird. Benjamin Drew, yes, I did see that. But anyway, all right, let's keep going. We keep keep rolling, you guys. Keep rocking and rolling. Big shout out to 17,000 of you guys who are still with us on this fine Tuesday evening. Hope you guys are having a great return to work, family life, whatever it might be, after the very nice uh, Labor Day weekend. We're just chilling, playing chess, and keeping it going. Some people said call it a day. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm just shocked. I'm really, I'm really just, it's just bizarre to me. Yeah. Top three of high tire. I don't care though. I mean, if I if I win my games, I'll get there. Thank you, Trion Appa for the prime. Energy returns. Yeah, since I have a chance, energy does return. Big, big, big shout out to everybody. Thank you so much for all love and support. I think we got well, like nearly 650 subs today. Thank you so much, you guys. You're amazing. Thank you so much to Mendy Ed for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. Thanks for the Mendy Ed. How's the game as a draw? Yeah, I heard about this. Thanks, Slice back it for the tier one. I mean, very poor by Lenny. He should have won that game. Um the trade off the knights. Turn out those turn out the nights are just kind of weird. They're like really weird. Thanks so much to M Lodi Pepsi for the prime. I just I a very, very weird choice. Big day for the channel. It's just been a crazy last 48 hours. I mean. I'm just waiting for Magnus to say something. You know, you honestly, I'm I'm gonna say this is probably a hot take. Uh, but at this point, I I kind of want Magnus to say that he just stubbed his toe in a way. I kind of want him to say something like that. I almost want to, I almost want to be wrong now. Thank Kermit the Frog for the three months. It's kind of weird, but I, I almost want to be wrong. But I, I, I think the fact that he's not saying anything is pretty clear. Thank you so much to Will, Willie Styles for the five gifteds. So yeah. Thanks so much to get get it get it Betty. Thank you so much to Gidget Abby for the gifted sub. Thanks so Gidget Abby. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be an official statement because I think I, I think unfortunately I I am right. I mean, I, I, I at this point I kind of want to be wrong, but the fact that Magnus hasn't said anything considering all the uproar, I, I mean, to me that says a lot. But unfortunately, I mean, I, I think we're not getting a statement, so I think it's uh yeah. Thank you so much to R A R P C for the two months. Thank you so much to A R P C. I'm always right. Duh. No, I'm not. <laughs> if only Lex Fridman podcast would have happened later. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, the best time to be a chess fan. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's like there's drama everywhere. You know, I had this I had this drama earlier. Obviously, my own drama, like getting. Well, I shouldn't. I, I mean, I shouldn't say anything. But yeah, like I, I mean, seeing like some kind of like legal letter. Like I mean, what the heck? Um, thank you so much to Joey Yeyu for the prime. You know, you're, 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 you're promoting something, suddenly you get like a legal letter. Like, what the heck? Just absolutely ridiculous. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a while last 48 hours. Another phone call going to come down? No. No, and I'm not going to talk about it. So, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Next game. I just got to win out. In fact, there are only five people on seven. There's one, two, 
although very light field 202 players 202 very very light the silence from magnus is deafening i mean like i said the fact that he hasn't said anything i mean he still he still has i mean like i said he could just walk back say he stubbed his toe or whatever thank you joey a for the 100 bits but i don't know Clep's talking about the drama to get you down and win juice <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> um but yeah but Ikaru would love your stream thank you so much appreciate it but anyway you can now see you can see Magus tweeting that he stubbed his uh toe they they wanted Hans after the match I mean I told you guys like I know people want to want to find an alternative theory but there is no alternative theory it's very clear what happened I mean they, they suddenly you have be like RFID scanners it's not just a matter of wants only 15 minute delay I mean come on you guys I know everybody wants to believe it it's something else but it's not I mean come on be serious I think it's just an OP Ultima for the Prime Uh, you think Magus got in his own head throughout the game thinking something was wrong and they uncharacteristically played worse not finding any resource maybe but yeah anyway let's keep going <laughs> Chew mo chewing metal gum that's a step too far you guys Yeah, it is what it is. So, anyway, anyway, let's keep going. It would be cool if Magnus gives us his reasons via TTS. Now, that would be funny. Okay, well, we got Andro. Let's, let's just keep playing random Bunky Bunk. I don't want to play real openings. Oh, but, um, actually, no, let's play C4. Let's play some kind of English. Um, I don't normally play B3. It's kind of, kind of weird. Well, it's whatever. Actually, normally, Andrew puts a bishop on F5. So it's actually already quite good. This is a different setup than I normally get against him. Castle play e3 here and queen e2 I guess yeah I haven't played Andrew in a very long time I think this pretty fast because it's all very normal obviously knight b5 I think I put the rooks on d1 and c1 I could have played rook b1 and bishop a1 as well I recall I think that's also a line plays there I'm gonna play knight e1 I could have played 92 also but that's eh, what it is it's weird to play Andrew Andrew's normally very slow in the openings because he doesn't need to be super fast um f4 is a move 94 is a move I don't like 94 I don't like actually I really don't like my position in general here um I really don't like a4 either I could play g4 maybe I don't want to play g4 I don't want to play e4 and this is where I just got to find some good moves Okay, whatever. Let's just play G4. A computer would approve. Just play play bad. Don't follow the basic themes. Just do it. I want to go G5 to lever the knight so I have a square. Once he plays B5, I have a square. Thank you so much to KGPN bolt for the prime. Thank you so much. I don't even know if G4 is good, but it's a... Um... So wait, now the question is, do I play G5 first or not? Because now this gets weird. I think... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Target the juicer first. This way, there's no square in the center because the pawn holds. And now I think I think I can take now maybe and take. I mean, this is all very wonky. Very very wonky. I don't really know what's going on here actually. Kind of confused to be honest. Take. 
takes. Interesting. Okay, so now I can take if I want to. Um, I guess I will take. Hack the queen. Okay, four guard the knight, of course. Strange position. I also have bishop e5, I just realized as well. Takes. Now do I take? I assume I have to take with the knight. I have bishop e5 here. I have queen h5. I have queen g4. A lot of options here. Queen h5 somehow feels like the right move. I don't know why, but it just it just feels right. Okay, I guess I'll play h4, target the bishop. Yeah, I'm not super enthused with my position, I have to say. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Let's play queen f3, which is just a bad move, I think. Thanks so much to David J. Jackson for the prime. I think I can give up one draw. I think I can give up one draw out of four games if I need to. I guess there. Um, I, think I should have some. Oh, do I have D, just D4 maybe? Oh, I'm trying to figure this out. Why am I thinking so long? Again, incapable of playing moves quickly here. I guess I'll just play it. I know this is wrong, but I'll just play it because I, I, I just can't seem to think and find a move. Yeah, I find Queen Six was a very good move. Takes. Let's take the bishop. This isn't really what I wanted at all, but it's kind of playable at least. Oh, he's got this move. Yeah, I just didn't see this. Hopefully that's not that's not a blunder, is it? No, it's not. First I thought that might be a blunder. Gotta move, gotta move. Might be a blunder, but I don't see the win for him. Okay, let's just go here, I guess. Again, I'm doing my usual. Cutting off the night. He just blundered, I think. Yeah, I just blundered because I'm 97. Yeah, I blundered. Okay. Let's go here and win the materials. Yeah, we got the win. Big win. Thank you so much to Mithrandir998 for the three months. Who is Hans? To the blind, he's the light. To the hungry, is the bread. Okay, good one. Okay, we got the win. We're trying to keep the dream alive. We're trying. We're trying to keep it alive. Heading into the home stretch. I think it's sort of a bad scam for the Prime and games waste time for the Prime. Hans talking normally today? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Dania has black here. Uh, C5? Oh, Dania just blundered. He's going to lose. C6. 
Oh, what did you just do, Danya? Yeah, you just lose by one tempo. Yeah, just rook... Oh, rook b8 and rook b4. Ouch. One tempo. Hmm, brutal. If Dubov wins his game, um... Dubov is up to, I believe, eight points, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Dubov and Bojan have eight. I have seven and a half. Like, I'm trying. I'm not in bad shape to win this event if I can win the last two. But I have to win the last two games. That's all there is to it. If I win the last two games, we're, we're going to have a shot. Or, or I'm probably going to win the event. But let's see. Who's still playing? Tiger V-Shape. Tiger V-Shape still playing. Queen h6 is a draw, no? This looks like a draw. Queen g g6. Yeah. Thank you so much to Sir Lando for the prime. Thank you said so Sidaruthia. Thank you so much to Sidaruthia for the two months. Big shout out. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, we're up to 660 subs. Let's see if we can get six more subs, you guys. We, we need to get to six more subs. Six more subs on the day, at least. Come on. You know you can do it. If you have Amazon Prime... If you're if you have that Amazon Prime subscription, you're paying that a little over 100 bucks every single year for the Prime deals, Prime Video, uh, the free shipping or the expedited shipping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Thursday night football as well. Make sure to connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month. Does not auto renew, of course, because you're basically taking five bucks out of that Prime subscription and giving it to your favorite streamer, who is me. Um, rather than putting that money in the pocket of Jeff Bezos. Thank you so much to Omega the Amazing for the five gifts. Thank you, Nezum LJPM for the Prime. Arch for the Prime. Thank you to Melaholi as well. Thank you to Hockey Lord for the five gift picks. IBD for the six. Freddy for the two gifted. Uh, Smile Udon Cappy with the Prime. Putting Pants with the Prime. And Whiskey Chest with the Prime. And Ironic with the Prime. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, thank you so much, you guys, uh, for the love and support. You're, you're all very amazing. Um, Hazra's Alejandro match, yeah. But yeah, connect to connect the Prime because again, it does not auto renew because of course they don't want you taking money out of Amazon's pocket and putting in the, putting it in the pocket of hardworking streamers. Like, make sure to renew. Doesn't have to be me, but make sure you take that money away from Jeff Bezos. Lord knows he has too much money, even with the Nasdaq down 075 percent. Thank you, Sir Gem TG for the Prime, solely for the Tier One, and Andros for the Prime. Thank you so much. I'm playing Samuel Chess Mood. Um, I, I'm I'm playing the Carl Cox. I want to play something sharp. Let's play H6. So knight h4, bishop h7. Single day sub record? I don't know. I think I think one of these during the pandemic, I had something like 2,000 subs in a day, which is just nuts. Completely bananas. Okay, I'm going to play g5. It's not the best line, of course, but I got to win this game, in my opinion. I don't even like bishop. Eh, what am I doing? Okay, focus. Focus mode. Focus mode. He got me at taking money from Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Is it Bezos or Bezos, by the way? I'll play c5. I don't even know if this is right, but whatever. Okay, it goes c3, which I'm actually very happy to see. Um, um is it Bezos or Bezos? I, I actually I've never been sure. Um taking too long again. Let's just go here. I should have played Rook C8 too. It's it's uh B Bezos. I don't know, whatever, who cares? He's too rich anyway. Um, okay, let's play. I'm gonna re I'm gonna re-rotate the ponies back back around. Bozo? It's not Bozo, but thank you. Okay, let's go here. I mean he's got knight h5, which is kind of kind of annoying. Okay, thanks so much to Alleged Death for the three months. What kind of username is Alleged Death? Uh I'm gonna go here. Maybe go h5. That kind of username, Alleged Death. Jeez. Okay, um. I'm gonna play h5. I don't even know what's right, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I think someone just sniz vz for the prime. The death was alleged? Yeah, alleged death, yeah. Okay, he's using a lot of time here. I mean, I don't like my position, to be clear, but it, you know, at this point, I gotta win. I gotta just win my games. It's that simple. Some Indian billionaire overtook Bezos with 150 billion. Oh, is that the, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It plays Rook D2. I don't care. I literally don't care. I'm just going to sack materials here. I don't care. Knight G5, I have Rook H4, which I think is playable. You know, I'll go here, guard the pawn. I'm probably castling next move or two moves. 
can maybe go king f8 g7 actually and just rook h8 it's a little bit feels very sketch but maybe i can get away with it yeah maybe Hikaru, when he says he needs to win, he wins. Sometimes, not always. I know the Indian billionaire you're talking about, because I, I remember seeing an article about it very recently, like maybe last week at some point. They were saying somebody was up to number three. But I mean, it's the same thing as like, it's same, same thing as when you hear one of the Chinese billionaires who like, with the water company or whatever it is, suddenly they're worth 150 billion because of some huge stock push. And then it comes back to like 10 billion or something, like normally. This night of one, which... Wait a second. Hmm. I think I'm better. Wait, is that four? You have three nine seven takes. No, Rook a five. Whatever, I'll go for it. Hopefully, I'm not getting busted here. Take. I play here. I can block. I can block. I think I'm better, but I don't think I'm winning, though. So I block, and then I go knight f8. Hit the queen, queen d7, create the blockade. Very tricky. Yeah. It's queen d7, and I should be better here, but I, I don't know if I'm winning. The thing is, he's got no time. So here... Um, oh, I still don't have a way to win, though. Kind of annoying. Um, there should be some way to win here. H7, queen f4, queen h3, queen f3. Really no way to win. Okay, so I guess I'll go here. He takes, I have rook h7. That's my idea, at least. Of course, I blunder this too. Still, probably better though. Stupid. Very stupid of me. I might not win now. Oh, he checks. I did not expect that. Yeah, this was so ridiculous by me. Let's go. Here. Ah, I missed that also. This is ridiculous. I should have just won this game. Now I can reroute the knight at least. He missed a win. Bishop d6 was winning. He missed it though. Go here. Missed that too, of course. Yeah, I'm throw I'm throwing this game away. G4. Yeah, I, I just have to move quickly. Maybe I can come up with a swindle. Rod. Yeah, I'm just lost. That's a great move, too. Uh, I was just up a piece and winning. I was just up a piece and winning. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my 
my gosh, I'm winning. Oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what was F7? Any move wins, but he walks into basically, he has to play here and then he just resigns. Okay, we got the win, ridiculous. I mean, how did I do that? Why did I play Rook, rook F7, or not, not Rook F7, Queen F5 like a total moron. Just Rook H7 and win the game like a true person. Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, no, we're on eight and a half. We're tied for the lead. So if I win my last game, you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna win the event. That was so so ridiculous by me. So ridiculous. Yeah. Oh well, to be honest, you won. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much to Scopia Eye for the prime. Thanks for Scopia Eye. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. We're what 692? Eight more, you guys. Eight more subs. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Throwing for content. Yeah. 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 Yeah, apparently one move. I mean, I win my next game. We're going to be uh, we're going to be number one. Thank you so much to uh, Zach Winter for the 43 months. Although, actually, no, because there are two people ahead. So, I can only play one of them. Yeah. Win like a true person. Yeah, I don't even know what that was. By me, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hans is ranting. Okay. I mean, he has to say something. I mean, because, yeah. Thank you so much to AZ Levy for the Prime. Tedoran for the Prime and Rumpel Wilson for the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Count to Money for the four months. Oh, Benji's on eight, though. I, I might play Benji. I Actually, I can't because Bojan and Dulles played. Question is, do I play Dulles or do I get the soft pairing against Bojan? Thank you so much to Bruno's uh, Zephalato for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to E34, TL34, D for the prime, and King Zarzu. Thank you so much to Little Booty Eater for the prime and Quiet Guru for the gifted sub. Time to withdraw from the event. Got a one-up Magn Magnus. Yeah. Han's going insane. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. He's calling top GMs idiots. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He said little something. Okay, very funny. I don't think I want to. If there are a lot of bad words being said, I don't want to say stuff. Thank you so much to Munga Bucket for the two gifteds. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Mung Bucket, 704 subs. Thank you so much, you guys. You're all amazing. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much to Air Air Mitiax for the Prime. Thank you so much. Whoa! Thank you so much to Kavita for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Kavita. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys. You're all amazing. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you so much to Luke Monster Truck or Luke M MST3K. I'm losing my mind. Thank you so much to Who's Faking Dragon for the six months. Thank you so much to Who's Faking Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Is Chess speaking to me? I don't know. Thanks so much to Free Willy Black for the third two months. Free Willy now. That's a movie I've not watched in a good couple of decades. Free Willy is from what, like the late 90s? I remember watching that on like a 15-inch TV way back when. 1993, okay. Yeah, thanks so much to Chess Poet for the Prime. Thanks so much to E. Holterman for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're still grinding, you guys. We got, we got a chance to win. We got a chance to do the double-double. We got a chance to do the double-double and win two title Tuesdays. Um, it's been a while since I've won both. Uh, thank you so much to the thing for the four months. Thank you so much to the thing. Yeah. Yeah. If if you're white, can you go E4, but at some point push C4? Uh depends on the opening. Okay, I get Bojan. This is a great pairing. Um let's play C4, do something different. I think it's actually Casaroli for the five. Was it? Was it what? Yeah. The D three. Yeah. Let's go here and here. I think it's actually not worries. Just vibes for five months. Thanks so much. I'm gonna play this the way I played against Criari and Blitz the other day. Same setup with B four. A five seems wrong. Uh, is Bishop a five wrong? I don't think that's the right move, is it? The E4, I always have Knight H4. Seems a little bit sus. Yeah, H6, I expected that. Okay. Knight, he has both 19 and 97. I think they rode Bison for the 13 months. Go here. I'm gonna have to play Ether at some point, of course. Uh, 
Um, let's just go here, maybe E3, C5. So E3, I have Queen E2. I have to go C5 sooner or later. I'm ignoring the interview. I'm literally playing title Tuesday with like a top prize of a thousand bucks and I'm, I'm like ignoring it. What the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm literally ignoring it. Like, geez, what's wrong with y'all? Yeah, I'm going to go here in night of four. With the bishop and the pawns. Yeah, I, I, I'm literally, I'm, I'm ignoring it. Yeah. You know, I can go C5. I mean, I think takes has to be right. Yeah. I think it's much a Sambri for the tier one. I mean, C5 is a move. Queen B3 is also a move. Go here. I'm supposed to play and watch at the same times. Things are a lion pride for the four. Wait, chess.com removed him from the site? What? What? Wait, okay, again, I gotta focus you guys. It's a serious game. Yeah, like, I, I mean, it's very hard to concentrate. One second. The A train F4. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, my mind's everywhere. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Um,. F4 and Queen E3 seems fine. Whoa, what? what the heck is this? Did he just hang a knight? Or am I just like losing my mind completely here? I think he just hung a knight. What the heck? Did he just hang a knight? By accident? Okay, he did hang a knight and was not, and it was by accident. Okay, so let's they can go queen c2. I mean, I am winning here. I just have to finish this off now. Go back. Thank you so much to touchpad for the 16 months. Thank you so much touchpad. E4, I just take and I'm winning. I also have knight f1, which should be winning. What's that? Okay, now, I mean, okay, now, okay, now this has to be winning. I just have to play this precisely. Go here. Okay. Do I play e4? Yeah, let's just go e4, because I have knight f3 here. You can also take. Take queen b6, c5, rook d2, cb6, rook c2. Seven, rook a8, take six, takes. I think this is winning. Oh, we just. Oh, I didn't expect that. That confused me. Um, wait. F three ninety three, queen e four. I guess this should be winning. Here and take. Yeah, now I'm just up a piece, and this should be pretty clean. If take with the queen. Is queen c four still? So let's just go here.
Yeah, it's just over. I just take with a bishop. Or I can also take with a knight. I'm just going to take with a bishop. A can take, and this is easy. Let's go here. I cover everything. It's just game over. Yeah, we got the win. Um, I don't want to blunder. Yeah, that's just good enough. B7. Yes. Okay, we win the game. Do we get first or second? Big moment. The big moment. Do we get first or second? Let's watch Dubob. Doobie Doobie Doo. Do we get first or second? Big moment. Dubob's winning. Shoot. No, Dubob's up upon. He's gonna win. We're gonna get second place. Still, I mean, heck of a heck of a finish though. For after dropping one and a half early, I'll be back in one second. I'm gonna run the restroom very quickly, you guys. Uh, did Dubov win? He did win, right? So I get second, right? Yeah, he he had a crusher tiebreaker. Yeah, crusher tiebreaker. Thanks, so thanks so much, T C R X. Thank you, Mungbug, for three months as well. Appreciate it. Thank you.